What's up guys, Joy B here, bringing you your monthly Summoner's Glory video. No, anyway, jokes aside, um, just a quick one, I, I've been moving servers, so, you know, I did start putting out videos, um, and my plan was to start streaming for everyone, however, <laughs> well, server 2 is server 2, I can't stream on server 2, there's nothing to do, there's nobody to play with, so the content would be dead and really me just soloing Ghost Vault hard every day, so... I've jumped over to server free, started building this account, so my goal is to build this up, get on Twitch, give you guys something to watch because we don't have many people at the moment motivated enough to like stream daily. So that's my goal. Anyway, this video today is going to be pretty much all the changes that have came in the past 24 hours because a couple of them to me in my head, are absolutely massive, so I just want to get the information out to you as to why and what that brings, because it's all right reading announcements on the Discord page or hearing it from somebody else, but until you really digest what's happened, I don't think you realise how much of a good boost this will be, especially to some of these phantoms that we've ignored for some time. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, guys, here we go. Look at this. First change. My gear looks really funny, doesn't it? You'd think, oh, made a new account. This guy's got to be rocking a gold set, tide set. No, look at this. Both. I'm running a jade set. And some of you may be aware, after reading the Discord announcement today, yeah, the jade set got a nice little... I don't know why. Out of all the sets, I don't think this was the worst. However, the devs decided that the jade set needed some love. So, if we scroll down to the set boost right there. So, four set bonus, speed 5%. Initially, we thought this was going to be a, a team boost, which would have been absolutely insane, especially from uh, some sort of player slash con content creator's uh, secret conqueror. Let's all be thankful that that is not the case. It's just a sort of character boost of 5% speed it was still massive, uh, especially from all you arena junkies that sit there and put plus 30 speed on every single one of your gears. You'll love that, an extra 5% on top if you switch to this. Fantastic. However, the bit I'm interested about is the six-piece set right there that increased damage of the entire team by 10%. So you may have watched my previous video on gear sets and the advice and what you should do. I'll just cut it real short, early game, mid game, gold set, late game to end game, like tide set, 20% crit damage all the way. Now, you've got a good choice to make here. Like this jade set, that, that increased damage of 10% is massive. Like it is huge. I, I, I'm still shocked at how much they've decided to turn this set round about. It makes me look forward to what other changes they're going to bring because I can only imagine they have a schedule for things to be pushed in. This is huge. So, all you end game players out there that are rocking the Tide set, I've tried this on my main account. That 10% damage is huge. Give it a go. Get into Ghost Vault hard. Farm the life out of as many pieces as you can. I've tried to get carried. As you can see, my gear failed. I got two nice pieces and the rest is trash. But yeah, there you go. Jade set's been up upgraded. It's absolutely fantastic now. Get into Ghost Vault. Get a set. Trust me, you will not, not regret it at all. Right, so there's a the first change. Let's move on to the next and the best change I think this game has seen as of yet, like from the entire lifespan of the game. So I'm going to be right back and I shall show you this stuff. All right, guys, so here we go. I've jumped into a fight here, right? So this wasn't any of the announcements. This this is an un unknown fix. I'm just going to quickly do it before this autos because if you leave it too long, your character will go, okay? So so normally if you see Conqueror, you, right, you jump in, do your attack down first, drop the enemy's turn meet and let your players go, right? But for the sake of this... So, increase your attack bar. What is it? Increase your attack bar of all teammates by 20%. Let's pop this. Let's see what happens. Yep, 
You see that little symbol that's popped up in all those characters? You might be familiar with this. So if you're past Crystal Forge, or even in some of the fights in Crystal Forge, you'll, you'll know this symbol. That is immunity right there. That is you, you negate all crowd control status effects. You will not be frozen. You will not be stunned. Yes, your turn meter can still be dropped, but in arena fights, those annoying little Haley's, they will be doing nothing to you anymore. Right, there, there is a bit of stipulation going about now. We don't know if this was intended. There was nothing in the notes about it. The little information I have is BMG team, they're going to speak to the devs, ask if it was intentional, and if it was intentional, the reason behind it. For me personally, I, I think this is to do with the new content we're expecting in the middle of this month. We are expecting the palace to open up and after the Victoria buff and seeing her get a, cleaned, a cleanse ability added to her kit, it would make me think that cleanse and immunity is going to be a huge part of this game now. The resistance and accuracy might not work, but if you can be immune to debuffs and then the odd chance you might get a debuff placed, you're, you're just, <laughs> well, you're going to cleanse it with our beautiful Victoria, as you can see right here. Um. yeah so I just wanted to point that change out to you because I won't spoil it for people there is in my head I've theory crafted some great ways to make this really really well and how to get the best out of this kit but I'll let everyone else figure this out but a phantom I'm going to shout out right like lunar goddess start looking at her now because she heals she boosts turn meter and she's now going to grant immunity because this effect here, the immunity that's been passed on by boosting the attack meter, it has been added to every phantom in the game that boosts turn meter for your team. It doesn't boost themselves, so let's just say you had your Sea Conqueror and Lunar Goddess in one team and you use them both, you have a full immune squad right there. That's all I'm going to say to you. You play around with it, have fun with it, but me personally, I think the new content that's coming might not be required, but for all those that like to solo content or are a bit lacking in evils, this is something that I feel you're going to need to push yourself that bit further to get that six-star gear. Anyway, thank you for listening. I just thought I'd get that out there before everyone else done. And because it's been three weeks before I uploaded anything. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bang that subscribe button. And I shall see you all in the near future, I hope. Peace out.